Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at designing the self-centering uh, vice chucks for the CNC machine. So, I'll tell you what, let's. Uh, I've done a bit of a time lapse of the design in Tinkercad, so you kind of get a flavor for it. So, let's take a quick look at that, and then we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more in detail about the design of these self-centering chucks. <music> Welcome back. One of the other things I've done, you might notice uh, since I did the time lapse, if I, I've added another vertical V slot in here uh, so I can have, uh, in short, a disc such as this. This red object uh, represents a coin. Uh, and I can also put a vertical object. We'll talk about that in a second. However, one of the pieces of you know any self-centering um, device is the fact it has sort of a V slot. So. One of the things I want to kind of turn this around here so you can see, and what I'm going to do is just slide the object in. And you notice that as it hits it, it will force it to the center uh, because of the triangular shape. So uh, that's how you get to self centering. Now, the other piece that I've done in this context, I want to spin it back around because this is, for me, is how it's going to sit in the CNC machine. So you can, you depending upon your vice orientation, you can either set it oriented to the X as I have it here, or oriented to the Y, uh, as would be if it was flipped around at 90 degrees. One of the other pieces that I have added is this little indexing mark here on both sides. Uh, each one will have one, because they're obviously a mirror image. And the idea is, is this is how you can find your Y center. So um, you simply index the machine as bit into that, mark that as home, and then so you only have to find the corresponding X axis. And, and we'll probably do up some other jigs to do that in the future. Or you can do it mathematically. I'm thinking about, you know, um, maybe doing some kind of touch off program or something like that. But in the short time, we can just simply calculate it from the measurement uh, if we need to. In other words, we simply measure the coin you know, in the offset and then tell it it's 50% of that and then mark that as home position. So a couple different ways to do that. However, um, again, this, this should be a handy little device. Now, again, I placed the vertical pieces in here because if we were to bring in another, uh, say, round object uh, like this, and then let's make it a different color so we can kind of see it. So, uh, you know, if we have a taller object, what will happen is, is when it, it gets shifted into the vise, uh, and again, it'll be self-lining into, let's turn it into a hole so you can see, see how it, see how the, the outer edges will grip the, um, I need to turn down the resolution here. So you, you can see how, as it impacts the side, it would push against the object and force it again to find a center. And as the two, two, um, you know, grips or chucks come together, it would would find a natural center. So, uh, tell you what, let's go watch this being printed and see how it comes out. So welcome back. So we saw on the computer designing this self-centering chuck setup. Um, and now we've printed them out. You saw a time lapse of that. So let's take a look at it. So I've got it mounted in the vise and you can you can see how it works. It just sits in the jaws 
and there's a little bit of a lip on here. I think I'm going to make two models, one with a bigger lip for this particular vise and one without a lip that's sort of generic to any type of vise because what this what will happen is this vise will go into the CNC machine, it will lock in, and then what I can do is I can take, and, and matter of fact, I'm going to use this engraving bit, and I can go into this corner with the bit and, and, and get a very, you know, precise, um, you know, exolocation on this. What I'm thinking about doing in future versions is putting um, indexing marks on the outside so then I can measure the coin and get a generic size of the coin and then do a mark and then do the engraver cut. Um, and I printed these 50, PLA 50% 50 infill and these are pretty tough. I'm also printing out a, a version ABS2 actually right now as we speak. Um, but this really has turned out cool. I think this is going to be a handy little setup for um, milling coins. I think this is kind of interesting. Again, the viewer that wrote in wants to do some stuff with... Uh, you know, coin art and that kind of stuff. And, and I, I, I kind of took a look out there, and there's a lot of in the genre of coin art, and that's why I figured I'm doing, you know, doing um, a few pieces in this sort of, I don't want to call it a series, but uh, there seems to be a lot of interest out there. And especially with the CNC, I see a lot of opportunity um, to create some really unique things. So, um, Anyways, hopefully you found this build interesting, the concept of building this all the way to production, and you know, here it sits in front of you with a neat little setup. Now, I am going to do another video where I actually take this to the CNC machine and, and we actually um, uh, CNC these. And so you saw in a previous video where we attempt to unsuccessfully to laser cut them. We're going to go back to the CNC and see about uh, CNCing them, and I think we'll have far better luck there. So, hey, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. A lot more coming. Also, if you got any questions or maybe you have a cottage industry or craft or something that you're interested in, um, how to use 3D printers, CNCs, or lasers for, hit me up in the comments below as this uh, viewer did. So I, I'm Because this is one of the big pieces behind DIY3DTech.com is to help artisans, cottage industry, small manufacturing runs, um, you know, create home businesses utilizing this technology. So if you got a question, hit me up below. Happy to answer it. Cheers. See you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.